okay so I'm going to show you how to install your steam add-ons once you've downloaded them from this website here left for maps.com so go to the place where you've downloaded them for me in this case I've put them here in my desktop so there's three separate zip folders here each containing their respective add-on so to find a place to put them in go to my computer C drive your program files steam look for steam apps this one common and then your left folded two folder look for another left folded two folder and inside here you find the add-on folder click on it and you you should see all your add-ons inside here now I'm going to show you how to install these add-ons and installing them is as simple as just opening up the zip folders and dragging these files into the folder the add-ons folder I showed you just now so let's do it first one in that's my second one uh, where is it oh And then the last one, which I've downloaded for now. And as you can see, it is very messy, as in the way they name all these files. So what I've done to sort of organize mine is I've categor categorized them with uh, three letters in front. So for example, all these here are my auto shotgun mods, I put an ASG in front, auto shotgun to go and denote them and for example others include like uh, these three here pistol mods, PTL and basically you can just rename the whole thing you can rename the whole thing whenever, whatever way you want but I've just added these three letters in front to categorize them you can really rename it any way you want so I want to rename these three ones which I've just downloaded so maybe I put I don't know, M for model, because it's a witch model. Witch skin to replace the witch. Uh, where's the other one? Ah, this one. It's a pipe bomb, so maybe, I don't know, E for explosives. Last one, where is it? Where is it? Uh, ah, it's another witch skin. So, M again. So that next time, if you don't like don't like the one you downloaded, you can just delete it or if you want to modify it, whatever. Okay, so once you've put them here, it's it's done. Simple as that. And now I can go ahead and launch your Left Footed 2 game to see whether it's properly installed. Woo, Warhammer. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Alright, so once you're in your left footed 2 game, go to the add-ons option and you might see this sometimes warning, two or more add-ons have conflicting files, please check the developer console for more information, I click ok, and those in red are the conflicting files, so in, uh, easy, an easy example is this, see uh, the two witch skins that I downloaded just now, you know, the conflicting files because you know a witch cannot have be having two skins at once so you have to uncheck one of them and once you do that it should be fine there shouldn't be any more conflicting files and my other set of conflicting files is these two one is a Benelli one is a Remington one replaces a chrome the other is the pump action you know the wooden shotgun and all those for two different weapons I have no idea why it's conflicting but I've left them on and nothing's gone wrong so far so I'm still using them and once you're done with this, click done, uh, lag, and just check whether it's working. Ah, as you can see, the I don't like the sound of that. Throwing a pipe bomb. We can get up here.
shooting me again. Laser sights here. Okay, that's it for me. Hopefully, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 will be fun. So, remember to go to the Left 4 Dead Max website, download whatever stuff you want, customize your weapon, right, skins, whatever. Thanks for watching.